Hi, so this topic is going to be creating a transcript of your Google Slides presentation. And I'm going to show you a little workaround that you can use in order to help you get that task done a little bit easier. So let me escape out of my slides and we're going to bring up a Google presentation. This is one that I did for um, career day. So that was a lot of fun at Tomball Intermediate School. And I'm going to bring up a separate Google Chrome page and open a Google Doc in it. So I have two um, Google Chrome pages, separate pages, not tabs, so that I can kind of toggle between them because I, I have found this to be the easiest way. Um, so you can give it a go and see what you think about doing that. So here we go. My uh, Google slide presentation again is occupational therapy, do it your way. And what I'm gonna do is go to tools and turn on voice typing in my doc. And so I'm gonna go ahead and click on the microphone and begin giving my presentation. So good evening. Today's topic is about occupational therapy, period. Occupational therapy is a great career and you can see by the title of this topic that I think that it is so flexible that you can pretty much do it your way exclamation mark. I think that's really exciting for a career to be able to have the flexibility to be able to accommodate to so many different people's interests and so many people's schedules and routines and places where they work and all those different kinds of things, period. New paragraph. So here we are, and um, you can see that this is recording all of everything that I'm saying into a transcript on a Google Doc. And with that, you can um, get your transcript done. Please notice that I have been giving some punctuations and telling it new paragraph, et cetera, to uh, fix some things. Those are just some general ways that you use voice typing. So I will add a link to this so that you can um, see the commands that you could use in your Google uh, typing, in your voice typing on your Google Doc in order to uh, make it even more hands-free. So that's basically how you do it. And then you can save your doc with the name of your presentation and you can send that to your students. It could be the hard copy of notes. It could be the transcript for a student with a hearing impairment. It could be a transcript that can be read back using Snap and Read and a variety of other uh, uses. So as always, you know, my, my famous last words, if you need help with this particular um, activity, feel free to send me an email and I will be happy to help you out and see if we can't get these things done together. So thank you very much for your attention.